more young Singaporeans are buying art to invest, driven by both passion and profit. And while the art market is becoming more accessible, experts say it's still not for the faint-hearted, as Sherry Locke finds out. They've been said to appeal to older, more mature palettes. But Chinese artworks like these have been drawing a younger crowd in recent years. Auction house Bonham says purchases by millennials and Gen Z clients have spiked by a whopping 147% this year. Christie says Singaporeans are helping to drive this trend. It reports that millennials now make up 30% of its Singaporean buyers. That's up from 26% in 2022. I think it speaks first to uh, the cultural heritage and the passion for uh, people's own culture and the, the, the passion that they have in rediscovering you know, the continuum of art. Uh, you, you don't see artists today that are not inspired from artists from yesterday, which are not inspired from artists from the day before. Christie's also credits its growing digital outreach during the pandemic, as well as how it demystifies the collection process. Auction houses aren't the only ones seeing younger clients. Art consultancies in Singapore tell me that they're seeing more millennials investing in pieces like this too. And for many of them, the pandemic was a turning point. Advisory firm Metis Art says that was when many millennials became more introspective and curious about art. Not like this at all. 34-year-old Li Yitian was already investing in wine, bonds and stocks, but wanted to inject more colour into a portfolio. So over the years when I was building up my investment portfolio, I've always wanted to include art as one of the alternative assets. And um, I'm glad I did it because it's one of the most fun things through my investment journey. She works with brokerage firm Artworks Advisory to pick out pieces for her collection. The works are rented out to businesses for a fee that guarantees her a 6% yield each year. And there's also the bigger payout expected when she sells them. The advisory estimates the value to rise by 22% every year. We've seen the um, economic crisis with the stock shares bonds, real estate, volatility, um, as we talked about the cost of living increases um, are having an impact and people are looking for a stable um, safe haven investment. So art over the years has been demonstrated to be extremely resilient. But to get your hands on one of these pieces, you'll have to be prepared to fork out at least $50,000. And such a steep starting point may be daunting for some newcomers. One portfolio expert says in terms of general investments, younger clients typically don't invest more than $3,000 a year. Partly because of uh, the limited disposable income they have, uh, of us. Uh, and, and I believe now there's, there's a, once again, there's a lot of consumption of uh, other non-investment part, right? Uh, be it travel, or, or concert tickets and, and stuff, all this affecting for the same share of wallet. While a large investment in a quality art piece could one day yield a big profit, auction houses and consultancies caution that money shouldn't be the only consideration when acquiring art. Instead, art buying should be driven first and foremost by passion.